Who will save Wizard City? This may be the one. They'll have to be brave. Oh, yes. They'll face horrible creatures. They can't do it alone. They'll make many friends here at Ravenwood School. They must have great potential. Of course. They must learn many spells and summon the mightiest of creatures if they are to defeat the greatest threat of all. Sign up for your free trial today. Rated everyone 10 and up. Ask your parents' permission to visit wizard101.com for your free trial today. Rated everyone 10 and up. Visit wizard101.com for your free trial today. Rated everyone 10 and up. Visit wizard101.com for your free trial today. Rated everyone 10 and up. King Sao advertises Wizard101 as a game that is rated E for everyone. But does it apply to blind people? Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll be playing Wizard101 with my screen covered, and I will have my viewers guide me around places through the live stream chat. Right from the beginning, the challenge already seems unplayable. Like how on earth can I get through the character creation screen without looking at the game? Yikes. What was that? Okay, I think now I can choose the schools, I think. Okay, that's something. Okay, what was that? Okay, I think I may have chose like balance or something or the life death. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move my mouse up and see if there's any buttons. Okay, there's nothing at the top. Go to the bottom. Next. I gotta go next. Delete screen for what? What the f Fuck, man. I know there's a button that says cancel. I need to find it again. Oh my god, this is so fucking hard. <laughs> what the hell? After 30 more minutes of trial and error, I made it back to the most important part of the challenge, selecting your school. There are certain schools that will make questing easy, while some must be avoided at all costs. Good thing for me though, is that I have this list all memorized. We're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna wing it, guys. Shit. Once I made my character, I encountered another issue. Getting out of the tutorial mode, which can be done quickly by clicking the skip button on the bottom left. Having the ability to hear things really helps, because I navigated myself to the correct button using the hover sound feature. Yep, yep, I found it. Okay. I don't know if it's no, yes, or yes or no. No. Yes. I made it. I made it out, baby! Now here's where the game truly begins. The young wizard starts his journey in Merle Ambrose's house at Wizard City, assigned for the task of saving Unicorn Way. A couple of years ago, the game forces you to walk all the way to Unicorn Way. And trust me, so many young wizards lost their way trying to get there. So now, Merle Ambrose simply yeets your ass all the way over to Unicorn Way just to make things easier. Yay! I was then assigned with the impossible task of defeating two lost souls, located just a couple steps away. I initially thought that this would be a simple straight path to lost souls, but I was wrong. Say I'm on the left, and I'm definitely still at the sand pits. What? Oh, this is the car selection. No, I discarded that car. What? Henchman? No, I didn't. Oh my god, how much did I spend? I did not spend henchmen. 
No, I didn't spend 9,584 crowns. You gotta be kidding me if I did that. Oh my god. I don't have three friends. You gotta be kidding me, man. No. Some of you must have joined the fight or something, because I don't remember a snow serpent. I am mere student wizard. Well, well, whatever that happened, I, I think I just won. Alrighty, a dub is a dub. I'll take it. Now I just have to make my way back. I don't know where I'm marked my spot, but I better get out of here. Go in the grass area. Oh, I'm in the battle again. Aw, oh, man, not again! After that fight, I was completely disoriented, and I had no idea where I was going. So the viewers decided to hop into the game to guide me with their loud ass sounds. The bong. Okay, the pogo mount. Somebody's here. I'm looking at them right now. I'm so blind. He's trying to get me somewhere, but... Just follow the pogos down at this point. Where are you taking me, man? You're taking me to a uh, cave or something? I don't even know what's going on. One eternity later. Guys, this is the first of the first ever blind wizard one on one walkthrough. Imagine a kids game that's been made 16 years ago and it's not friendly to everybody. What about the people that has trouble seeing the game? What are you gonna do about that, King Sao? This is it right here. They're having trouble playing. You're cutting the. You're ruining the play base, man. Tomorrow. We'll follow your lead and stop pushing these ghostly things back. Thank God we found it. We, we made it. We made it. We made it. Playing Wizard 1 1 blindfolded is mad frustrating. Even my viewers started to become agitated with how bad I am with following instructions. Man, Crystal Critics, what is wrong with you, bro? Are you mad that somebody's not listening to what you're saying? Are you just mad? At this point, I was ready to give up. I'm not usually a doubter, but this just seems impossible. Did I make it back in the comments? What the fuck? Until someone proposed this idea of using a two person mount. And that makes sense, because a blind person in real life could get around places with help, whether that's a walking stick, help dog, or a simple GPS microchip that's stuck in your head. But the hard part though is that I have to first add the person with a two person mount as a friend before I can hop on his stick. I mean, mount. No! No, I went home! No! No! I went ho I went back to the commons! Fuck! Oh, no. We eventually got that resolved, and the challenge finally found its momentum. Yippee! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out you can beat this game blindfolded. It's not like this game forced you to solo any fights in the future. Cause that would suck. I might be able to beat Rattlebones, guys. <laughs> okay, are we at Rattlebones? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So it all comes down to this, huh? Defeating Rattlebones blindfolded. Rattlebones, from the very beginning, has always been the butt of the joke. He just sucks. They even nerfed this ass. Look at the mask with my boy. If Rattlebones can't even defeat a blind wizard who can't even click his spells if his life depend on it, I don't know what to say anymore. Okay, I clicked it, I clicked it, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I get to go first, and I get a frost beetle! What the fuck? Okay, definitely not the car I was looking for. I got something. Come on! No! Huh? Wait, you can hit with the goal? Wait, hold on. 
You can hit me with a ghoul attack? Why, why did I keep casting Frost Beetles? I'm ice! Oh my god! Reach the crown shop icon. To left. To right. Okay, I've hit the mid bat. Please, Hyro. Please, Hyro and kill. Okay, he's dead. Okay, thank god. Oh, please don't die. Please, please, please. Please don't die to this. Come on. Okay, okay, I got this. I just have to click this last card. I, I, I need to kill her. Crown shop, move to the right. Click again. Crown shop, go a little bit to the right. Oh my god. Did I click anything? Did I kill? Yes! Oh my god, I killed him! I killed him! Oh my god! <laughs> Yep, Radimal Sulfite!